You know, when I woke up this morning, the first thing I thought was, man, wouldn't it be great if it were 20 degrees outside today? <laughs> no! Just kidding. That's not what I thought. Um, I actually thought, man, it's cold. I wish I could just stay in bed all day. But uh, too bad these guys can't take care of themselves. And I'm just kidding. It's not their fault. It's just cold. And what the hell? It's going to be April soon. Why is it cold? Why is it 20 degrees outside? Why did it snow yesterday? I have some questions. Um, and I'm not going to get any answers. So I guess we're just here. So Catherine set me on a project to use some lumber that I have milled to reinforce our hay feeder right there, slash build a new one. Um, and I'm not going to do that quite yet. Today's been a frustrating day, man. Work has just been really busy. All this stuff. My foot hurts. I don't know why. Maybe it's these new inserts in these boots, but the old inserts like falling apart. And now it's just like it's hurting my foot and I don't get it and it's bothersome and Urgh. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna try to make some money Because um, one of the things we have here is cedar and we now have a sawmill so I'm gonna see if I can mill us up some cedar and potentially sell it on Facebook and Then maybe once that's done I'll mill some lumber for uh, some stuff. But anyway, so I we got a sawmill last week. I kind of fine-tuned it a little bit, and so now I'm here, uh, and I got some stuff done. Uh, you can come take a look at the, uh, the lumber yard for now. So this is just my scraps of, like, off-cuts that I can't use, whether it's top cuts that are too skinny or like they're super big on one end and then really small. This is just stuff that I can't use. So I'll either cut it up for firewood or, you know, use it for tinder. Not that kind of tinder. You know, fire starting material. Kindling, kindling, kindling. Um, tried to cut this guy, but uh, these, these were some of the boards that I cut like first and they were just sort of uneven, but now that unevenness is just still causing me problems, so I'm just going to give up on that. Um, I now have a whole bunch of stickers all cut. That's a pretty cool red oak slab I have there. This is my pile of logs. And then here's where I have this cedar. So I have two logs cut up right now. And you know, the figuring in there is just pretty cool. And you can't tell right now because it's not wet, but it's really, really pink, purple almost. So it's pretty cool. So now I have back here, I think three cedar logs. One, two, three. I also got this cool stuff. I, I don't really know what that is right here. This was green when I cut it, so I don't know what that's going to look like. But anyway. I'm going to see if I can cut those three. I have a couple other logs to cut. Because somebody was interested in those and then just kind of flaked. So I'm going to see if I can do at least one more cedar log like that. And then see if maybe I can put them on the marketplace and sell them. Because you know this here sawmill, which is the HM122 from Woodland Mills, was not cheap. It is like one of the cheapest sawmills that you can buy. Inexpensive, I mean. But it is not cheap. So, I'm going to throw the pallet forks on the tractor, I'm going to go grab some logs, and see if I can cut them up. Maybe I'll feel better. Let's get to it. Alright, so I actually had to get some stuff out of the way. And I was actually able to get some dimensional lumber out of a couple of those boards, which I was actually pretty happy with. Um, so as you can see, I got uh, three of these basically one by threes, which would be good strapping, or it'll be good... Uh, for the roof to hold up the roofing panels in between uh, the rafters. I have one 4x4 four four and two 2x4s. Two and now, they're not actual true 2x4s, which for the most part, uh, when people mill green lumber, they make actual 2x4s, uh, not nominal 2x4s. So, you know, if you go to Home Depot, 2x4 is really an inch and a half by three and a half. Ask me how I know that. First time I ever tried building anything was back at the old farm. We weren't even, Kat and I weren't even married yet. 
and she had seen this like window greenhouse thing that was just like a window on a hinge on a little platform and I was like I, you know what I can build that thing and I went out turns out I could build it um, but I didn't even measure the two by fours I just assumed that a two by four was two inches by four inches and guess what it's not um, but these are all oak so they're super heavy so I'm just leaving them they're they're like an inch and three quarters by three and three quarters um, and they will shrink a little bit um, but it should be fine so I feel much better now isn't that good and so I still have these two boards here um, but I'm just gonna push them out of the way I have one cedar log on my forks right now so I'm gonna come over I'm gonna put it on the mill and then uh, slab it up let's get going All right, you got that nice cedar log loaded up there. And uh, it's actually pretty nice. It looks pretty pretty straight. So what I'm gonna do, starting at the small end that I have here, is I'll make a mark to just cut the bark off to get a nice flat edge. And then I think I'm, I'm just gonna do uh, four quarter slabs from there. So four quarter is an inch. Just see how it goes, and just see how it goes. You know, I did forget to bring my chainsaw down here, so it's a little bit of a problem. But because uh, I got some of those little uh, nubs poking out, but um, I think we'll be all right. So I'll, I'll uh, lock this up and uh, mill it down. All right, so just cut the top off and I cut my first slab. Let's have a look. Oh, I mean, like that is just, it's just so beautiful. Oh, smells so good. It's awesome, love it. All right, so now that that's all set, and I'm basically just taking them and putting them on my, here, I'll show you. So once I take a slab off, I take it and just put it right on the forks. And so you see, I got those little stickers there. So I put the next slab right on top of there. And that way they're just all ready. And you can see my pile right over there. So I'll go stack it over there. And then I think maybe I will be able to cut some lumber for uh, fixing the hay feeder thing. We'll see. I just. I love looking at the cedar, it's just so beautiful. Love it. Let's keep going. All right, so here's our uh, stacked up lumber. Pretty exciting, I'm gonna go 
put it on my uh, specialized palette over here and see if we can make some cash. House. I hope these people are nice. So this is that log that I had mentioned before had the green center when I first cut it down, like literally actually green. So I'm gonna see if, uh, you know, this guy's a little wobbly. It's so light, I can't believe how light this is. Um, so, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mill it and I'm gonna see if, ugh, seesaw, all right. So there's, there's a little space here on the bunk and my muse, or my inspiration for getting a sawmill is this channel called Sawing with Sandy. And if you have any interest in doing sawmill things, absolutely check his channel out. Super nice Canadian guy. He answered one of my emails. He's the best. Um, so if you have space on your bunk and your log moves up and down like this, when you're moving the mill down, it's gonna end up seesawing and messing up your cut. So just wanna make sure that they're all flat on the bunk so that when there's pressure on one end, it doesn't tilt the other one up. So, all right. Ah. The other thing that I notice is I like to work from the small side down, because then you know like how much you're gonna get. Because if you start with the big side, you're gonna inevitably cut like too much. But I got the small side on this side, so that's not, not what I wanted. But, too late now. I guess we're just gonna, just gonna see what happens. I don't know if it's coming across, but it's, it's, it's freaking green on the inside. It's weird. Yeah, like, look at this, this little figure right here. Yeah, again, I don't know if it comes across in the video, but it's green, it's weird. I don't know what it is. But so somebody who's better at this than I can probably look at that log and say, this is what I'm gonna get out of it. And you know, I think if I had the small end on the other side, I could have probably done that too. Um, but so I've ended up with a cant, which is what they call, you know, this piece, squared off log, is called a cant, that is five and a half inches by four and a half inches. And now I'm thinking that I'm gonna take that and maybe I'll use that to make some siding. So I'll cut them into four quarter sections, which is one inch, same as the slab that we just cut up. And then we will uh, hopefully use it for siding. Can anybody tell me what type of tree is this? Is this poplar? I don't, I don't know. I'm just making that up. Um, yeah, if you got a positive ID on this tree, I'd love to know. All right, let's mill her down. It's nice to know that I've come such a long way from day one. So like right here I have four one by six boards, which will be nice for the board and batten siding. Um, and it's just nice to know that, you know, even though it was a bit of a rough start for me, I was able to get it done. And even though I didn't really do what Catherine asked me to do, I did film a video. So I think that was the main goal. And she wanted to keep me busy and, um, have you make a video and also if I can sell those if I can sell those cedar uh, slabs that'd be great so I have uh, I still have two more cedar uh, logs over here I do have some stuff to do before Catherine gets home though uh, I guess maybe I'll slab one more right yeah so I think that's what I'll do because I still if I take half an hour slab one more uh, cedar log 
And I guess because I got this, I got this, the thick one is curved. So that one's going to be a little tough. Well, why don't we see what we can do with that one? All right, I'm going to see if I can mill that up and I'll be right back. All right. John came, John saw, John sawed some wood. So got our last cedar log milled right there. Looks beautiful. Uh, got some lumber made. Super excited that I've gotten much better at this. <laughs> it, took a, it took a little while. I think I have like four hours on the machine right now. Um, overall, it's going pretty well. It took a little bit of fine tuning, but now I think I have it pretty much dialed in. You know, just getting practice, trying to get better. You know, because we're going to start using this stuff and it's going to go great. Hopefully we can sell this cedar, guys. Uh, fingers crossed. Wish us luck. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. Please give us a like. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. And as always, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oops. Wow, that wind.